We're uh, Speed Ventures. We uh, operate road racing track events uh, throughout California, Nevada. We do wheel to wheel, we do time trials, and we're sort of a performance driving school and a racing school. Our business for nine years has been providing training for people who want to learn how to race cars or do racing style driving on tracks. Most of our customers are just people bringing out their daily driver cars, whether it's a, a Ferrari or a Honda or whatever, coming to a racetrack, driving as fast as they want, having a good time. And of course, we teach them how to do the sport of road racing. About four years ago, I got interested in electric vehicles and some alternative fuel, possibly, vehicles and thought about producing an event for electric vehicles. So uh, we started working uh, with the county of Monterey to put on uh, refuel. And after a few years of planning and stuff, we put on our first event uh, last year. And we had a great turnout of all the sort of road race worthy electric vehicles in the state. There really aren't a lot of them yet. There's more this year. We had quite a few more cars come out, as well as motorcycles. People are uh, really anxious to, uh, to drive their electric cars at speed, just like people with regular cars. And now that there's some electric cars out there that actually have some real performance, people want to use them just like they would a normal sports car. As a manufacturer of drive systems uh, for AC propulsion, it's, it's important to see how these drive systems actually perform on the track. Anyone who brings a car out to refuel, you know, to, to, to run it on the track, is going, to, is going to figure out ways to push their car harder, which means they're pushing the system harder, which means that we're going to have better electric vehicles in the future. And so that's, that's the purpose of a time trial event like this. Today we started off with some practice sessions, some classroom sessions. We have some drivers here who've never been on a track before, ever. So we gave a brief school for those who were beginners. Uh, they had regular practice sessions. And the time trial competitions are basically competitions which are just fast lap. You're not actually racing side by side. It's just who can get the fastest lap. We divided them into three classes. We had electric motorcycles. We divided the cars into two classes. One, they're production cars. Any car that's sort of mass produced to some extent, that's electric. At this point in time, there's really only one, and that's the Tesla. And then we have the prototype class of electric cars, which is for purpose-built race cars or conversions. Vehicles people can are built in their garages themselves or they're very well-funded, very high-tech cars that are uh, really at the cutting edge. This is really a unique event. I mean, Refuel, this is the second time Refuel's done this. Uh, we were fortunate enough to win it uh, last year, and I don't know how we did this year. I hope we did well. But, but uh, it's a terrific event because it does bring all, everyone together. Now, the, the difference between this year and last year is you've got about seven more fast cars this year. And that is terrific. This was really a great event. Um, you know, anybody can come and ride uh, who, who owns a bike. You know, you can go buy an electric bike from any number of uh, the, the few people that are, that are building bikes and uh, just bring it out here to the track and ride it around in a safe, controlled environment. So I think this is a really an asset to the, to the industry. It lets people kind of see the performance of the vehicles. Well, the refuel race is, is unique in my experience because it's very low pressure. Everybody's very supportive. If you don't know how to drive on a track, they'll show you. If you have a lot of experience, they can accommodate that too. So the fact that it's an electric car is just that much, uh, you know, it's, it's new, but these people run the gamut just like everybody from experienced drivers to, uh, you know, first timers. And uh, it's, it's, I can't say enough, it's just you know, low key, very uh, efficiently run, and uh, it's been a great experience. This year, uh, we had probably double the attendance of last year. We had about 20, 30% more vehicles. We had far faster vehicles. We had a much more exciting event. Um, for next year, uh, we're looking for more involvement from the industry, uh, as well as from competitors, and engineers throughout the community. Um, so we hope next year that uh, people will come out and join us as spectators or as competitors. And we really want to see more people get into the sport and build fast cars and come out and try to beat some of these guys who are out here today. I'll be coming back here as long as they have them. I mean, this, this is a great racetrack, number one, and the event was, was well organized. This is the premier event for us every year. This is the event. If you want more information on refuel, you can go to refuelraces.com. That's www.refuelraces.com.